When it comes to paving, pathways leading you into an area, there are various options that we can do. So, of course, there's the gravel. There may be some sleeper steps. And then in between that, what do we do? Now, if you had to get a contractor in, as in a paving contractor, they'd want to pave the whole thing and they'd want to put concrete between the gaps. I urge you not to do that. A couple of reasons why. Number one is when there's a big downpour of rain, that water then simply doesn't have anywhere to go. From an environmental aspect, mm, we could do better. So rather by having some gaps in between your paving, your pathways, even if it's just simple rock like I've got underfoot here, instead of grouting it, keep it open so that when water does fall, it's able to penetrate through and then get put back into the water table. And not only that, but be able to feed the plants around it. So what are our options? Well, besides, of course, dwarf mondo grass, which does work very well in between pavers and along pathways. But guys, there are so many other options that are brilliant, in my opinion. And, um, and I urge you to give a try to some of these. So first of all, when we are looking at purchasing stuff, most times we head off straight to the garden center and we ask for something to go in between pavers and they will present to us a bag like this. Now, this is a little viola, also known as the sweet viola. Beautiful, can grow in full sun or in the shade, stays very low and flat and then gets these beautiful little violet flowers. <laughs> and now you come to the pot where how am I going to plant this in between the pavers? And I've seen you. I know that you have tried to dig in with your little trowel and make a hole that deep. Uh, goodness knows what you do with all the soil. But anyway, that's another drama. And then not only is it a really painful experience, but you also go through a whole lot of plants. If you are lucky enough, you could be able to buy them from your local garden center in packs like this. But here's a quick tip. If you do happen to buy them like this, and it's the only option you've got, then folks, I want you to do this. Take the plant out of its container. And so that I can show you what I'm doing, you're gonna take a knife. And all I want you to do is just cut through it. And we are going to do a very clever form of division and out of one plant, we're going to get four. So there we go, another half. Let's cut this little guy here. And from one plant, we now end up with four, which you will admit, once you've teased off a whole lot of that soil, which was really unnecessary, you've actually got yourself a lovely little plug that will fit perfectly in between some pavers. And this makes economical sense. Brilliant. Now that you know how to make the plant stretch, let's look at some other options that you can use. This, folks, is a great plant. It's called Pilea depressa. Very, very low growing. Great in semi-shade or in the full sun. But it makes this perfect mat which I really do like and is very, very quick growing. So this is a great option. Of course, the other option that if you are fortunate enough to be able to have a garden center around you that has many different options, you can sometimes even buy these plants in bigger trays. So with many, many more plugs in it. And that's also a bonus. This is a lovely plant, succulent. It's one of the crashulas, and this does incredibly well in between paving hot, sunny spots. And I would do the same for this, which is a Daimondia. Daimondia is a great little plant, and incredibly tough. In fact, this plant grows naturally right in the tops, the absolute tips of the mountains, high up. And you'll see it growing in between the little rock crevices. And folks, I mean, it gets hardly any water there, open to the elements. And I love the gray foliage and it works particularly well in between paving and stepping stones. But a great alternative is this little diamondia. This little crashula, 
Also for areas, but remember that the bushier the plant, the higher the plant, you want to think of it as a less traffic. Because if you've got a high traffic area and someone's gonna be knocking this about, they are gonna cause a bit of destruction to it. Whereas your Diamondia can literally be stood on multiple times. Pfft, very tough. Another little succulent which is great is the sedum. Um, guys, this is called sedum acre. So easy to grow. You could literally cut this guy off. You could also just break little bits and pop it into the ground. But remember ultimately that when you are working in between your pavers or your stepping stones, that you need to prepare your soil well. So stick to the basics. Remember, it's compost, it's a bit of bone meal, it's a bit of organic plant food to get it going. And finally, for something aromatic, is a lovely variegated oregano, which works brilliantly between pavers in hot areas, and even if you are going to do some blocks, this is fantastic. Well, folks, there are five or six options for you to use greenery in between your pavers and your stepping stones. Remember, pathways don't need to be these concrete landing strips, yet you could include some beautiful foliage, lovely plants to soften it, add extra texture, and of course, be able to trap that important rain that comes from the sky.